Hi everyone, I'm Gary Hibner and welcome to this series on designing cinematic orchestral templates. If you're watching this, you either already a cinematic composer or are looking at getting involved in this field. And one way to really help you is to build up a template for these type of compositions. If you want to know more about this style, you can check out my other series on Groove 3 about composing epic cinematic compositions. In this series, we're going to focus on building up a working and efficient template. This can be anything from a small single computer and making the most out of your 16 gig RAM limit, like on most laptops like MacBook Pros, through to multiple computer setups where instruments are distributed and hosted across the network machines. Requirements of this course are having a DAW. The big guns in this field are Cubase and Logic. I'll be demonstrating how to use these two as they have some slightly different setup options, but you can follow along the same steps in another DAW that you're using. And if you want to set up a multiple networked composing workstation, then you'll need VSL's Vienna Ensemble Pro software. This is an amazing piece of software that works wonders in a single machine or even if you want to build up a multi-networked computer setup. It allows you to route instruments and audio across a network seamlessly with zero latency. And the possibilities with this tool are endless, but I'll get more into this a bit later. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. First, let's go over the software and hardware you'll need for this course. The most important will be a powerful desktop or mobile workstation. I'd recommend a quad core processor, maybe three gigahertz and up will really work well in speed and performance. You can use a dual core slower processor, but you will be limited on the amounts of tracks and voicings with the instruments. Then you'll need at least 16 gigs of RAM. This will allow you to load up a decent amount of cinematic instruments into your template. But the go-to amounts are 32 gigs and up. Some composers are even using 126 gigs of RAM, so try get and use as much as your machine can handle. And if you have multiple machines that you can use, then I'll also show you how to get these networked together and how the load can be distributed across these machines. In this course, I'll be demonstrating a template design that is very minimal in resources. It's going to be a demonstration on what's possible with templates, but you can take this further if you've got a more powerful machine with bigger resources and want to load up more instruments. Then it comes down to storing our instruments and samples. With this, I'd highly recommend using solid state drives. Their read and write speeds are much more faster than your standard mechanical drive. I'd recommend having SSDs for both your system and external drives where you're gonna store your sample libraries. If you can only do one, then I'd recommend an SSD for your samples. And then your system drive can be a mechanical drive, but aim for both. Now, I'll be demonstrating on a Mac, but you can use either a Mac or PC. One isn't better than the other. It's purely a preference thing. The only thing that's going to determine the OS you use is the DAW choose. For example, if you choose Logic, then you're limited to a Mac. Which brings me to my next point. You're going to need a capable DAW. The big guns, as I mentioned, are Logic and Cubase. But other good mentions are Digital Performer, Reaper, and Studio One. There's other options, but these ones cater more towards the MIDI side, where you're going to be mainly occupying with your cinematic compositions. And then you'll need a good selection of sample libraries and instruments. This template will be a hybrid selection of orchestral and synthetic instruments. You can explore what libraries you want to use, but the most common are libraries from East West, Cine Samples, Spitfire, and orchestral tools. I'll be demonstrating this course using mainly the East-West Composer Cloud package. This is a well-priced subscription service with access to tons of instruments and libraries. So if you're new to this, you can take out a monthly plan and follow along with the series. 
or if you're using other instruments, you can follow along as well, as I'll also dabble slightly into Native Instruments Complete Bundle. There's two instruments there that I can't work without, and that's Damage and Ryzen Hit. There are many similar instruments on the market, but you'll see why I like these two so much. So what's going to be important is a collection of orchestral instruments with a good selection of articulations. So this will cover the strings, brass, woodwinds, and percussion sections. Plus, you'll need some extra stuff like trailer hits and impacts, risers, and whoosh sounds. And some synths like absinthe or massive or omnisphere. Most times, these types of synths are included in your respective DAWs but I'll mention a few throughout the series. So what are we going to cover in this course is how to set up a single machine template and a master slave network template. Then we'll explore how these are set up differently between Logic and Cubase. Then we'll look at how to build up the different sections in the template. Following this, I'll show you how to use different articulations and how to switch between these different articulations with software tools. And then finally, we'll look at how to balance all the instrument levels. Then to add to the instruments, I'll show you how to set up the reverbs for the tracks so that all the instruments sound like they belong together. And to finish off, I'll show you the power of using disabled tracks in Cubase and VE Pro and how coupled and decoupled tracks work in VE Pro to give you the best workflow. So let's jump in and see how you can get started with cinematic template designs.